What's up, everybody? Destin Gary here, helping you get the IC Cloak People achievement. Now, a really great map I found that you can get this one on is Hell's Kitchen. Now, why does this one work so well? Well, because you can hide up in the tower and just sit here and wait. All you got to do is just sit here and wait for your proc alarm to go off, and you're pretty much guaranteed a kill because they have to come into a very small, confined space. It's also a lot easier to see people when you're uh, playing on the 360 version of the game. PC version, you might have a little bit of trouble, but you'll still be able to hear your prox alarm, be able to poke your head out, and maybe get the kill. Now, I recommend using the close quarters operative because, you know, one or two hits with a shotgun, anything coming in that room is going down. I even got a few double kills. So there we go. My prox alarm is going off. I know someone's nearby. I get one hit, and then I get a headshot. And that's it. That gives me the IC cloak people achievement. Now, they did manage to stag me before uh, I threw down my grenade. But in a few seconds here, you'll see my replay, and I did pretty well in that little room. So this achievement is pretty tricky. You need to kill 10 hunters as cell operative, but hunter mode is honestly probably the most fun I've had in a multiplayer game in a while. Uh, I really like it. There we go. Eight kills, one death. Pretty good, right? Let's check out some of my replays. Okay, so I got most of them as a hunter, but still, I didn't do bad. I don't think I had a 8-1 KD ratio. But anyway, for more on Crisis 3 and how to get stuff, be sure to keep it locked right here on IGN.